Stevens is did the old man get seen to? He was sweating and shaking when I put him on the bus. He said his arm felt numb. Jesus Christ, Brogan. Everything is a humanitarian crisis with you. You signed off on more orders of recognizance than the rest of your unit combined. Don't give me that shit. Man's about to have a goddamn heart attack. I want him seen to. Here he is. You guy was given a clean bill of health by Doc Sturgis. He bust out three hours ago. Are you happy now? Yeah, I'm happy now. to meet you. I, I give you my word, they're not as scary as I made them out to be, okay? You better do it before they blow the lunch whistle. All right, let's go, compadres. Let's do it. It was actually a, a pretty tough crowd. No? Was I shit? No, actually. No. And, you know, for somebody who just learned the song last night, I thought you did a very good job. Oh, good. Because uh, I had absolutely no idea what I was singing about. Yeah. Oh, uh, you could tell. Yeah, and also, please don't take this the wrong way, but um, what kind of Jew gets hired 
at a Jewish day school who doesn't speak any Hebrew or even really like know the first thing about Judaism. Well, I, I guess the atheist kind. Excuse me. No, I'm sorry. It's just you know, I, I just needed a job. And, and it was actually my manager's uh, mom is the principal of the school. You didn't completely suck. No, thank you. I do not want you to say a word about this to anyone. I mean, anyone. Could be very serious trouble for the school and for me. No, I'm, I'm not going to say anything. I want you to know I am only doing this because of my son, because he says to me, Mom, Gavin is going to be an important musician. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't do anything like this. Well, thank you. Thank you, Michelle. I, I, honestly, I, I, well, I, I can't thank you enough. teacher, Madame Yatunde, sent this to me in the mail. She said that you lost it right before you left and that you were really sad. And she found it a few weeks ago. Honey, it's going to be a little while longer. And we are working very hard to find you a good mom. She won't ever replace your real mommy, but she will love you. And I promise that she'll never leave you. The men involved in this terrorist attack have been vilified, demonized, and condemned by the Western world. But we never want to talk about the 9-11 jihadists as real people. The media and our leaders are quick to label them as terrorists and monsters and murderers. Shouldn't we try to understand them as human beings? Fuck no. <laughs> Everybody calls them cowards for murdering helpless passengers and causing the death of thousands of innocent lives. What would you call them? Hey! It's the truth. The cowards do not knowingly sacrifice themselves for a greater cause. I don't agree with all. Oh, is this I don't I don't you, know, you may not agree with their cause, but I do not believe that their actions were either cowardly or irrational. She's talking. I feel that like the oppressed Palestinian people or the Iraqi citizens under occupation in their own homeland that they found themselves without a voice. Hey. And that the only way for them to be heard was to scream with the might of tons of steel and thunderous jet engines behind them upon impact. Okay, okay. Their voices were heard. You may not like what they had to say or how they got their message across, but for the first time, we heard it. We gotta listen to the we heard it. We cried for justice. Okay, okay. Yes, thank you. Miss B, thank you. I'm, I am not sure that that was the point of the assignment to Sima, but uh, yes, it was certainly thought provoking. Bullshit. Bullshit. Can you sit down? I like this Thank you. Fucking traitor. Cry 
my name. Why don't you get the fuck out of our country and go back to Camel Hump in Saudi Arabia, where the fuck you Camel Humpers live? Ryan, Ryan, I know you're upset, but I'm not going to condone an outburst like that. Yo, what's your name, Tasleema Bin Laden? <laughs> One question, Miss B. Did you risk her? What if the bitch needs trapped with dynamite and TNT or something? She's going to get a grenade. Yo, we'll take this all out. Boom. <laughs> He's lying. I didn't last night. Yongya, early. services here
Paula, how's your class? What? I got a recurring role in the D'Angelo's. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> Is it one? I know, it's unbelievable. That's a big deal, right? Yeah. It's a big news. Yeah, it's we should big. get a drink. Oh, yeah, let's get a drink. drink. Thanks, babe. So how did you pull it off? I don't know. I mean, the casting director knows my situation. She's given me until Friday to get my I-9 in. So, um, there's a fellow I met through someone at Crunch. He works at one of those photocopying stores on Fountain. And... Oh, no, 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 you can't do that. Like, if you get caught with a fake green card, like, you could be done for fraud. It's no different from photoshopping your social security card to remove the not for employment stamp. Or passing yourself off as a religious Jew. When you're an atheist, like an actual atheist. Come on. Zeus, come on, It's not practical. You know that. You know, we can't make a go of it without status. I've got to get legal, and so do you. You've got to get legal. You know that. I'm working on that, all right? I just want to know where this guy is. Your Captain America is going to come down. He's going to sweep you up your feet. He's going to marry you. He's going to make you legit. Isn't that what you're looking for? Captain America? I'm just wondering what's, uh, what's taking you so far. Uh, listen, I gotta go. I gotta go. Uh, it was a real pleasure to meet you. Rose. Rose. Yeah, just give me an email or something when your uh, TV thing comes out. Gavin, I'll see you before, you know? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Juan. Juan Sánchez. Vete con él. Lárgate. directory on a T1 number. Let's see, it is uh, 661 555 
finding any record of your I-539 in our system. You said you sent it in six weeks ago? Eight, eight weeks ago. Okay. Well, do you have a mailing receipt? No, because um, I just copied my R94 and sent it by regular mail. Okay, well then how about a cancelled check for the application fee? Um, well, I paid by money order. I don't have a checkbook. I didn't, I didn't get a receipt for my money order. Listen, I'm starting to get a little concerned here because... Uh, I... ma'am, you are not out of status until you receive a decision on your extension application. However, if that application is lost in the system or for whatever reason it doesn't get to us, then how are we supposed to know that you even sent it in in the first place? See, from our perspective, with no mailing receipt or canceled money order, you're out of status. Unless my application just turns up. you in case I was right. Most people usually say Australia, which upsets the Kiwis. I don't have the money to pay for this. I'm not insured on my car. Ouch. That's not good. I must have fucked someone over really badly in a past life because shit is just piling up for me today. I've just spent the last three hours in there trying to convince some bureaucratic bitch that I actually did file for an extension on my visitor's visa, which I fucking did. What's your name? I'm sorry, I'm Claire Shepard. Claire Shepard, I'm Cole Frankel, and I know of your frustrations. <laughs> you do. I'm a supervisory center adjudications officer. What that means is I get to determine whether a green card application has merit or not. That must be interesting. I'll tell you what's interesting, and what's of a bit of concern to me, aside from you not having insurance, and that's someone who's filing for an extension of their visitor's visa driving around with a stack of headshots in her car. There's nothing wrong with a beautiful woman like yourself having headshots in her car if you were back in Australia. You're not authorized to be seeking employment in the United States, Claire. Am I wrong about that? All right, here's what I propose. We call AAA. My card, of course. If you don't have insurance, you sure as hell don't have AAA. And we get your vehicle sorted out. And then we go grab some lunch together. Excuse me? I want to buy you lunch, Claire, and explain your options to you. Or we could just take a walk back into the building, sort it out there. Sí, señor. Estaba muy mortificada por el niño. 
¿Y han sabe todo de ella? No, no. ¿Qué dijo? Yo le salvo. Le salvo nomás cruza la frontera. No, no habla. Sanchez, Maria, 24. ¿Y last night or early this morning? ¿Positive? Yeah, okay, thanks. That's a great show. Nothing can touch that on TV. I thought you said you wanted to discuss my situation. Okay. Here's the thing, Claire. You want to be an actress like Nicole and Naomi, obviously. You know as well as I do the work they do in Australia doesn't count for shit. They're stars because they make movies here in America. If you were to get deported or even chose voluntary departure, you ain't getting back into this country for a minimum of 10 years. I know with voluntary departure, they say it's closer to five, but the truth is you're lucky if you ever get back in. What's your wife do? She works for the other side. She's an immigration defense attorney. Oh, is she available for a consult? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Sexy. Great sense of humor, you got it all, Claire. Except for a work permit. I don't think you'll feel so witty when they introduce you to a holding cell down in San Pedro. Strip search, the whole bit. Some mama Latina makes your bitch for a couple nights. All right, you've made your point. So where would you like to do it? over to whatever address I give you. Right. So you through with me for the day? Can I go grab a shower? I got one more favor to ask of you, Claire. I want you down on all fours at the edge of the bed. Nah. 
Interest in suicide? Your diary suggests you do. That's not. Those are notes on a class paper on why religions oppose suicide. And you're not opposed to it. I wouldn't become a suicide bomber if that's what you mean. But you condone suicide bombing as a legitimate means to make a statement. That's what you wrote in your essay. You're twisting my words. That's not what I wrote. Reads that way to me. Upon impact, their voices were finally heard. We may not like what they had to say or how they got their message across, but we heard it for the first time we heard it. I was just saying that they got our attention and that maybe we should understand why they did what they did. That's all. So if someone's pissed off at America, they should hijack and fly planes into our buildings. That seems like a reasonable thing to do. Agent your fat car. Over here. Look at this. She has a, uh, a World of Islam account. She's been frequenting some interesting chat rooms. Global Jihad. Jihad talking points. I'm interested in all Muslim points of view. It keeps me informed. Teslima, your parents are in the United States illegally. My brother and sister were born here. They're American citizens. True. But you and your parents are not. When your brother and sister reach the age of 21, they're entitled to petition for your parents to enter this country. Until then, your family has no status. Listen to me, Teslima. Here's what I'm willing to do for you. I'm not interested in detaining your family, but I'd like to talk to you further. Immigration and Customs Enforcement has every right to take your family into custody. But if you leave with us now, and cooperate with us. Immigration won't detain them. They'll still have to resolve their status, but nobody's looking to make an issue of that right now. You understand? Sir Max, welcome to my home. Thank you. You honor me with your presence tonight. Thank you. This is my wife. Very nice to meet you. Welcome. Thank you. You have a beautiful home. Thank you. Congratulations, sir, on your naturalization. Thank you. Uh, Farid, Farid Babajun, come over here. Come and meet an important gentleman. He's my youngest son. He's a lawyer. Uh -huh. How are you? <laughs> How do you do? It's a pleasure. How are you? Hi. How are you? This is Max. He is the partner of Hamid. You show him the respect or he will have you deported. <laughs> you can't deport me, Baba. I've already been naturalized. You're the only person in this house who can be deported. 
until Saturday. Then he becomes one of us. Oh, excuse me, I'm gonna go put her down. It was good to meet you. Thank you. Good night. Hey, Max, I, I'm so glad you made it tonight. I really appreciate it. Get your drink. Hey, yeah, Scotch Rocks, please. herself before the family. She shouldn't expect to be welcome around here. Bob. So, Max, I mean, speak so highly of you. He looks up to you. I never understood why he joined the immigration Gestapo. I think that deep down inside, he doesn't feel like he belongs. I mean, what better way to prove you're red, white, and blue than by throwing out those who also don't belong? You're a lawyer, huh? I'm a junior partner at Burkhoff, Mazzola, and Klein. I specialize in personal injury. We have 35 lawyers under us. You're an ambulance chaser. I don't chase anyone. I turn clients away. Excuse me. that they're staring at us. The very disapproving looks you're getting for consorting with the outcast. Or risk it. Never been invited to a shunning before. What is this, something you guys brought over with you? I didn't bring it. I was born here. And I'm the only one in this family who's an actual American. decided to naturalize makes him every bit as American as you. Let me tell you about my father, the great American to be. He was always critical of the Shah. But after the revolution, one of his business rivals spread rumors that he was anti-Khomeini. And the whole family had to flee across the border to Turkey. Spent most of his savings trying to get everybody over here. every day he spends here. Well, I could go back. He's too old to start over. So what's your story? Any family? I have a daughter. I'm not with her mother anymore. How old is she? 26. Uh, no. 27. I'm gonna get that straight and I piss her off. I think I did that already. Max, my father's asking for you. It's nice meeting you, Max. You too. I'm out of here. Got a date. Got a real hot date, Max. Ignore her. She's crazy. I'm tired of being. See you tomorrow. Tell your family thanks for me, okay? You know what she said to the Yoruba interpreter today? Are you my mommy? The interpreter says she's losing her ability to speak the language. It's 23 months that she's been in there. 23 fucking months. 
feel gutted every time I go. It's a shitty situation. You can't keep beating yourself up over it. I was thinking it may be a doctor. D. I'm serious. Her mother's dying of AIDS in a hospice. Like's dad back in Nigeria denies paternity and won't accept custody of her. We're working on it. One of our own. And we can keep working on it. I've thought about this a lot, and it feels right. It feels like it's meant to be. You can't just lay this on me and expect me to...
누가 그런 쓰레기 철학을 내 머리에 넣어주는 거야? 앞눈도록 나가서 올리는 그 깡패 친구들이야? 얘가 이상하게 변했구나. 넌 착한 아이인데 어떻게 된 거냐? 아빠는 네 동생의 미래를 위해 이민 온 거다. 제발 인생 낭비하지 말고 정신 차려. 디니스 프랭코. 헬로. 헬로. 플리즈, 땡큐 포 헬핑 마이 다터. Clearly, this is not about her immigration status, but they are using her lack of status to get around normal criminal and juvenile proceedings. My wife wants to know when we can see her. I'm working on that. I'm pushing for a one-on-one -on -one with the FBI task force officer tomorrow. Right now, your entire family is at risk for removal. I recommend you do not go back to your apartment. Do you have any friends or family with whom you can stay? Agent Barr Hurt. Sir Boss, from the French Shop Wish Awards. We've got security video from the motel of an unidentified male perp in a hooded sweatshirt leaving the scene. Time of death somewhere between 11 and midnight. Did you know that your sister was having relations with Mr. Pedraza? who was married with two young kids. I never talked to her about the details of her private life, no. Do you know of anyone who may have had it in for her? A jealous level, perhaps? Like I said, I didn't get in her life. There's something else, sir. I found these while going through Mr. Pedraza's jacket looking for identification. They come in sets of threes. Green card, driver's license, social. All counterfeit. We found more of the stuff at his apartment earlier this afternoon. As best we can figure, he was cranking them out after hours at the store. We referred that into the tier. Documented benefit for our task force. I think it might be Mexican mafia upset about him cutting into their action. We're looking at a number of possibilities right now. When would be a good time to interview your other family members, Agent Barr? Could I just... I'd like to spend a moment with my sister alone. Please. Of course. Ah. I'm sorry for your loss. Now I'm warning her. 
I doubt the veracity of my heart. You're just sitting here feeling your pain, my friend. Feeling for your entire family. It's a sad, terrible thing, your loss. In no way do I doubt your love for your sister. No way. Well, if you need someone to talk it through with. Thank you. Officially, she's being held for an unlawful presence in the United States. Unofficially, and I'll never repeat this outside this room, she's being detained for presenting an imminent threat to the security of the United States, based upon evidence that she planned to be a suicide bomber. And what evidence would that be? Don't play coy with me, Counselor. The signs are all there. We're talking about a devout Muslim young woman who at 15 years of age walks around veiled, who engages in internet talk focused on the duty of jihad and writes openly about suicide. <laughs> Did you take a look at her bedroom? How austere it was? This isn't the life of a normal teenager. Everything about her is a red flag. Only when viewed through the distorted looking glass of your own paranoias. I could joust with you all day, but here's the reality of her situation. She's illegal. She's removable. And I intend to have immigration and customs enforcement remove her to ensure the safety of the American people, just like that. You would uproot a 15-year-old American teenager who came to this country when she was three years old? Who doesn't speak Bangla, at least not with any fluency? And based on the most circumstantial of evidence, you would exile her to a third-world garbage dump that to her might as well be another planet. That's exactly what I'm gonna do, Counselor. What about the rest of the family? The two younger siblings are American citizens. Yes, they're American citizens and they're shit out of luck. Got company? Are you looking for some? Yeah, I'm not being funny like right, that, but I, I just want to know why some INS guy would commit fraud for you. And it's not like you're famous enough to get. Right. Yeah, that kind of visa. No, I'm gonna say I only know because I tried. Well, they don't call it the INS anymore. Kevin, come on. I was gonna have to marry an American guy. That's why I didn't see any point in us, you know. But I don't have to do that now. I don't have to marry an American guy. I can be with the guy that I'm into. Baby, please Just tell don't me, do were you this. with him today? Was he inside of you today? 
Were you with him today? Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. How many times? How many times, Claire? I just want to know. I just want to know how fucked you have to get to get a fucking green card. Fuck. as he wants. So for two months and then I never have to see him again and I never have to worry about being deported or being knocked on. I can just Sorry, you have very few options, none of them favorable to your situation. You may request voluntary departure as an entire family and leave the United States immediately, or you may choose to fight the matter, which inevitably would lead to deportation. There is a third option. And as painful as it is, I am required to present it to you. One of you could choose voluntary departure and leave with Teslima, and one of you could remain in the U.S. with Jahanara and Ibul. How is that possible? Special Agent Fadkar has intimated to me that if we were to choose that course of action, immigration would not seek out the remaining parent, provided they kept a low profile. There is something else you should understand. Whichever of you remains, if you choose that, if you try to see Teslima before she leaves, you would be taking a really big risk. In all likelihood, she will be escorted by immigration agents all the way to her departure gate. <laughs> all right, girls, come on. Lights out. Under the cover. Lights out in two minutes. Vámonos, María. You look like you need a friend. Are you waiting for your mommy to come get you too? Yeah. Yeah, I am. When is she coming? Any day now. Do you know any good stories? I know a lot of good stories. All right, girls, lights out. Come here, and I'll tell you all the best ones. Time for bed.
how could you disbelieve while to you are being recited the verses of Allah? Buenas noches, Sanchez, Senora Sanchez. Yo soy agente especial Max Broga. Sí, exacto. Me pregunto va si aprecio María. No, no, señora. No he sabido nada. Le pregunto a usted. Señora, no sabemos. Seguiré preguntando. Siento haberla molestado. Lo siento. Uh, gracias, señor. Buenas noches. Gracias. Skulking's fine with me. I'm not exactly proud of this arrangement. I don't mind an arrangement. Oh. Well, just listen to me. I know this started in a fucked up place, and that you are not here on your own volition, and that there's a... There's a good chance I'd probably make your skin crawl. I just want to start over again. I wouldn't say who I was. I wouldn't put any kind of scare in you. Just ask you out for a cup of coffee. I'm not looking to renegotiate. You're not hearing me. No. <laughs> You're not hearing me. But this is what you need to understand, okay? When I come into one of these flea bag rooms, I switch off. You might as well be making him with a rubber fuck doll. Because she'd be giving you more emotionally than you'd ever get from me. I want to get home. hear from me again. Your green card will be in the mail. Good luck, Clara.
Hey, listen. You left your jacket in the car on the way back from New York. You are complaining about the smell, so I took it to the dry cleaners. You can pick it up any time. It wasn't necessary. Thanks. This fell out of the pocket with the cleaners. I was wondering why I wasn't in her personal effects envelope. She broke it. A few days ago, I said I'd get it fixed. Repaired. I got a friend with a shop on Western. Thanks for coming, Max. Gavin Kosef? Gavin Kosef? Uh, yeah. I have to be honest with you, Mr. Kosef. I don't see much experience here as a religious worker. You're not an ordained rabbi, are you? Uh, no, no, I'm not. But, uh, I'm, you know, I've spent many years devoted to my faith. Uh, I grew up in a religious family. Uh, I attended services regularly. Uh, I, I was bar mitzvahed. Uh, I've taken Jewish leadership courses. I'm still not sure that qualifies you. You know, I, I honor my religion daily. Uh, you know, in the Jewish uh, school where I teach, uh, I lead the class in prayers. Uh, we discuss Bible stories. And you've been working at this school illegally, right? Yes, I, I have. Yeah. Uh, but I, I've admitted to that. You can read the language. Hebrew, right? Yes. And what about the prayers? You can, uh, you can recite the important prayers of your faith. You can do that, right? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I can... Uh, do the prayer for wine, um, the prayer for bread. Excuse me, Mr. Ordinarily, I'd file a request for evidence, but something tells me this approach will prove more expedient. I'd like Mr. Kosef to recite a prayer to substantiate his knowledge of the Jewish teachings above that of a layman's. If you could suggest something and authenticate his response, I'd greatly appreciate it, Rabbi. You may recite the Mona's Kaddish, no? The Mona's Kaddish? No. So it's a tradition that uh, you cover your, your head. Uh, if you just put your hands uh, on your on your head like, like that. Right. Um, like that. Yeah. Adonai, shalom alechem. Bore pari kafam pitivanu hadlichne shishaba melechanam alvenu shalom alecham adan olam hashem alam You should sing in my services sometimes. Oh, 
Uh, I would love to. Thank you very much, Rabbi. I will uh, be with you shortly. Thank you. Can't argue with that. Rabbi? I wasn't kidding about the voice. I expect you to learn morning, temple, bed, shalom. About the rest, we can teach you. When will I ever see them again? Or Papa? He wants to be able to say goodbye to you. But what if he was to come here today? They would arrest him and deport him as well. And then Ja and Abun will have to leave as well. I don't care. Why can't we all go? Why do they get to stay? Because they were born here. And if they stay and finish school, they have more opportunities. And I don't. Really? <laughs> Shit, now. I'm sorry. We're out of time. Did Homicide see these tapes? No. They figured it was gang-related, so they only looked at the night of the murder. Slow down. Slow down. That's them. Stop. That's the girl. Back up a little bit. This car that just pulled in here. We've been on there. Yeah, five, 
They told me no one get hurt. I didn't kill anyone. What am I supposed to do? I don't know what to fucking do. Why do you keep asking about my family, huh? They're not here now, are they? I'm in your family. My parents. My younger brother and sister. My sister was born here. supposed to be a special day and you shit on it for your whole family i've been through it it's the most spiritual moment of my life you know you're standing there looking around you at all these people from everywhere countries you can't even pronounce you didn't even know existed and they're happy they're elated to be there because it's their choice. You wouldn't be here right now in this mess you're in if you could ever appreciate the awe you'd feel in that moment. The worthiness of the journey. So, when you're standing there tomorrow in your new suit and tie, I want you to look around. Understand the sublime promise of this moment. <laughs> what the fuck, man? I'm not gonna be there. You said it yourself. Stop messing with my head. <laughs> All right. The way to end this, my friend, is for you to put down your gun. Okay, I'm gonna put my What the fuck? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Put down your gun. They go that woman. You go in that back room. And you take the surveillance tapes out of the system, okay? And you keep on walking. You fuck you with me. Stop fucking with me. You think I'm some jack off? Huh? I think you made a mistake. And you will never make a mistake like this again. <laughs> She also says you let him take the surveillance tapes with him. She's confused. She had her head down most of the time. I got killed for them. Why would I let one go? I look crazy to you. I can tell you how many there were. There were only four. She's mistaken. This man, he saved our lives. Where the fuck are you? I need to talk to you as soon as possible. Give me a call as soon as you get this message immediately. I don't care what time it is.
not interested in you. I'm not interested. I'm not interested in you. For one, you're too old for me. Miss Shepard, I'm Special Agent Ludwig with ISIS Document and Benefit Fraud Unit. This is my partner, Special Agent Howell. May we have a word with you inside, please? We discovered these and quite a few others when we performed a search of Javier Pedraza's apartment. I didn't um, use these. I didn't go back to them, so you, you can't... Um... You see, what's interesting, Miss Shepard, is we ran a check on your name. A Claire Shepard arrived on a B-2 visitor's visa seven months ago. And then just two days ago, she has her status adjusted to an EB-1 green card for persons of extraordinary ability. According to the Internet Movie Database, the only Claire Shepard that matches your spelling, age, and place of birth has two credits on little known Aussie TV shows. Walk on rolls. She hasn't won any national or international awards. Which is something the adjudicator who handled your case would have to have been aware of. And yet he approved you for an EB-1. Miss Shepard. I'd like you to tell us about your relationship with Center Adjudications Officer Cole Frankel. Congratulations, Miguel. Mr. Frankel. Special Agents Paulson and Womack, OIG. We have a warrant for your arrest. Is this a joke? I take it you're familiar with Claire Shepard. She just traded you for voluntary departure. Turn around, please. Hands behind your back. Do you have to do this? Do you have to cut me? Yeah, I'm afraid we do. I 
supposed to happen. Only that we would teach her a lesson. We were supposed to catch them in the act and beat them like dogs. My father wouldn't saw her humiliated. Brought him alive. I want no part of it. I thought if I just turn my back, I'll all go away. your right hand over your heart as we listen to Phil Perry sing our national anthem. Oh, say can you see Anthem. And that's just plain disrespectful. Rid Bar Hurry, you are under arrest for the murder of your sister, Zara Bar Hurry, and Javier Pedraza.
820 M1042 Delta, approximately an eighth of a mile east of Ambush Alley. Confirming a female victim, Mexican national, approximate age mid 20s. Looks like she's been out here a couple of days. I think she paid the wrong coyote to bring her across. I copy. You are 1042 Delta, one eighth mile east of Ambush Alley. I'll contact the PD and the corner. 104 820, I'm standing by at this location. 104 Bravo 75. I'll also notify your FOS. Guess who's going home today? All of my friends leave. Not today, sweetie. Someone's come for you. It's gonna be a real cluster, fuck, so watch your ass. You got it. Here we go. Wait a second. Rogan. Yeah, that was me. You sure about that? Maria Sanchez. family have you uh, do me a favor will you hold off on that i'd like to take care of it myself i just want to do right by her thanks i'll be down as soon as i'm off shift god damn it max we gotta roll man max we gotta go
versos perdida que cierra.